when it came to bringing Charlie onto the podcast, however, I um I went into town and I bought the cheapest dream catcher I could find and I gave it to him and he you know he's been entertained. It was a rainy since. it was a rainy day and I was under yeah. my usual bridge. <laughs> and this nice man walks up to me. I'm just dangling this 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 little this little musty dream catcher at me. Yeah. He dangles it in front of my face a little. <laughs> Kind of try and grab it, and then he and then he lures me all the way back to this podcast exactly. studio. Exactly, I lure him we, into a, we were, we record the first episode. I lure him into a pre pre prepared streaming room, and I sit him down and, and I and I hang the I hang it right in front of right, well right behind the Dreamcatcher is right behind where his camera is, and uh, you know he's been entertained ever since. He's kind of like a cat. I keep trying to catch you. Keep trying to catch these dreams. They just keep slipping right out of my fingers. You know, there's been a lot of rumors going around that Charlie is a cat boy, and you know, I'm gonna what? be the first to say here no, on the I'm Chuckle Sandwich. Like, I'm not gonna yeah. like. I don't like this one. I'm already Charlie not liking this one. We are continuing boy. the downhill streak, baby, of the Chuckle Sandwich <laughs> podcast. Uh, oh, we are never man. gonna live up to its past greatness, and every episode is just no. a, a further no, and no. further decline.